Okay, it's time to start looking at um, some some equations, some exponential equations, but using logarithms to to, uh, to help us to help us solve them. Um, I did refer to this, I think, in the last screencast, and I was talking about the benefits of, of logarithms. So um, I'll, I'll uh, we'll do some more examples, and we'll talk more specifically about this method. Um, so let's chuck an example in of let's say solve two to the power of x is equal to eleven. Okay, so 2 to the what equals 11? I don't know what that is. I could, so it's assumed here that we're not using a calculator because if we could, we've got a calculator, we go in here, we hit control um, uh, 10 to the x, that one there, and all we've got to do is uh, work out what, what's this. We put a 2 in there because it's the base of 2. So 2 to the what equals 11. So it's, it's, it's um, log of 11 base 2 and hit enter. I'll have to hit control enter to get me 3.46. So that's that's fine. Um, x equals 3.46 by calculator, but uh, this is really assuming this this whole section is um, is assuming no calculator. It, it, these are non-calculator skills. So we don't have a calculator at disposal. We know what the answer is now, so we can check on that in a minute as we go in. But also, it's not a whole number, so we don't need um, you know, we don't need to use logarithms if it's if it's you know solve two to the power of x is equal to eight, because you know, we can see it. Uh, we can see that x equals three, or we can write it as two to the power of x equals two to the power of three. So we get our bases the same, and then we just equate our coefficients. So, you know, that's 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 easy. That's fine. That that, that doesn't need great discussion. However, here, you, without a calculator, um, what are we doing? Okay, so what we can do is we can activate the plog law, and I'll show you how. So we take the log of both sides, um, and we're going to—I'm not going to write a base here, and that's because it's just going to be—it's going to be base ten. So log two to the power of x equals log eleven. Okay. Um, okay, so I've taken the log of both sides. That's—that's that's perfectly legitimate. It's like um, you know one of those things we can do in maths. You do the same to both sides, no problem. Uh, so therefore, now we use the plog law to say that x log 2 equals log 11. No, that's all. That's all good. And then uh, this log 2 is just a value, isn't it? It's a value. It's you know, it's something x. So I just divide by it now, and I've got x. So x is equal to log 11 over log 2. And you might say, well, actually, to get that, I'm going to need a calculator. And it's absolutely spot on. You are. So log 11 divided by log 2. Uh, how would we do that? We'd go, and it's going to be even harder. It's going to be log. Um, right, but just to just to clarify, we're doing this. This is a skill that you need. So log 11 divided by log 2. So here we go. Log 11. Tab out of that. Divided by. Um, go back in. Uh, log base 10. We don't have to use base 10, by the way. We can use base whatever we want. And hit enter. I'm on. Exact 3.46. Of course, I knew that was the answer. Equals 3.46. So that's how we use logs. It's really logging both sides, then then activating plog. Plog enables us to get the power out of the power and into the front, and that means that we can use our um, our techniques of solving that we've we've already become well accustomed to to finding out what x is. Okay, so let's have a look at another example. Different type of Different type of example. So solve uh, three to the power of two x minus one equals twenty-eight. So don't go straight to the calculator and do this. We're going to use logs, and believe me, that's um, a skill you need. So take the log of both sides. Log of three to the power of two x minus one equals log of twenty-eight. Um, now what are we going to do? We're going to activate plog. See if you can do this. Pause the screen, get the question done, and then check back. We're going to plog. So it'll be 2x minus 1, I'll bracket that, log 3 equals log 28. Now, um, I can isolate my 2x minus 1 by dividing both sides by log 3. And we can go from here, 2x is equal to log 28 over log 3 plus 1. And therefore, x will be equal to all this divided by 2. Uh, so I'll just do that, divided by 2. So log 28 over log 3 plus 1 divided by 2. Okay, I've just run that through the calculator, I've got 2.02 .02 as my value for x there. 
Okay, um, we'll have a look at one more example, I think. Uh, it'll be an inequality this time. We're going to solve 0 0.7 to the power of x is greater than or equal to 0 0.3. So just as a um, uh, just as a little bit of a uh, clue here, when you see x in the power, a, a solving method, unless you're, unless you're putting it straight into your calculator, the solving method is to take logs of both sides. So take logs of both sides first. Log of 0 0.7 to the power of x is greater than or equal to log 0 0.3. And then you plug and you say x log 0 0.7 is greater than or equal to log 0 0.3. So same first two steps as we did up there. All right, now this is where we need to be careful. What is the value of log 0 0.7? If we put that into our calculator, log 0 0.7, Right, I'll put that in as log 0.7. doesn't matter what base I use here, the same effect. I've got a negative result. I'm dividing by a negative. What happens when I divide by a negative? So I'm dividing by, I'm dividing log of 0 0.3 by log of 0 0.7, but that is a negative. When we divide by a negative, an inequality sign turns the other way around, does it not? So x is going to be less than or equal to log of 0.3 over log of 0.7, which uh, to two decimal places means that x is less than or equal to 3.38. And there we go. Um, okay, next lesson, 15f on page 429, um, and we'll also clear up 15e if there are one or two questions there to finish up on as well. So I'll see you, uh, see you shortly.